Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and another video here. So today, as you can see, we're going to be unboxing the Cirque Colors A Dozen Delights 2022 Advent Calendar. Fair warning, I will be opening every single box within the calendar today, as well as showing you swatch photos. So if you don't want spoilers on this, then exit out now because I really don't want to spoil anybody's fun and, you know, ruin the surprise for them. So real quick, just some details about this calendar. It went on sale in October and it costs about $80. The contents is eight mini polishes plus four nail items. And that breaks down to about $6.67 per individual item. Minis, I believe, are five milliliters from Cirque, which is compared to their 11 milliliter full size. It shipped really quickly. It arrived really fast. Um, the website copy, here's the inside of the box. The website copy says, A Dozen Delights Advent Calendar is a limited edition 12-piece holiday box set in our Fruit Stickers Collectors box. How cute. What's better than one treat? A dozen of them. This adorable advent calendar contains 12 surprises to make the countdown to the holidays even more exciting. If you absolutely cannot wait to open your presents, then we'll give you permission to peek at these early. And uh, it, like I said, it came in the Fruit Stickers box. This box is the same type of box, like the same format with like the magnetic closure as we got last year. And then it came with this little sticker that says Fresh Snozberries, $8. You guys already know I'm turning this into a magnet. So without further ado, I'm going to pop this open. I'm going to set this to the side and zoom you in so you can get a closer look. And I am going to start unboxing these in order of the days. So like I said, if you don't want to see what's in these boxes, exit out right now. So here we have day number one. It's got this little apple on it and like a light blue box with some stars and like the Cirque C on it. Now I use this to, look at how dry my skin is, oh my God. Uh, I use this to open the boxes because nails are jewels, not tools. So let's see what we got in box number one. So it's some nail charms. I think last year we got similar ones. Uh, these are taped shut, that's why I can't. I just said nails are jewels, not tools currently using my nails to be a tool. Um, I think we got like similar ones last year, uh, just in silver rather than gold. These are nice. I actually ended up finally using some of the silver ones uh, like last month, two months ago. I like the Cirque Charms. I like the big pots they come in. They are really nice. Box number two, uh, I'm assuming these are supposed to be like little cherries. Very, it kind of looks like super retro, I guess. I like the box design this year, and I actually, I've liked it every year that we've gotten it so far, which is the past two years plus this year. All right, we got some more charms. Let's crack these. Oh, we got another sticker. Why, pray tell, is this sticker round and this sticker oval? Why does that bother me? <gasps> I instantly spilled them. I'm an idiot. Okay, so... We're going to try and carefully pour those back in, but it looks like we've got some kind of like pearly type ones and some seashells. Very mermaid. Hmm. Um, yeah, these are cute too. These are all silver. Now I got to try and spill these back into the container. All of these come with uh, a little like plastic shield. I don't know how I managed to peel that shield up. But yeah, they are actually, this is the first time this has ever happened to me, I think. Here we have box number three. This kind of looks like the Pepsi logo. Um, let's get this guy open. It seems like they're getting all the nail items out of the way. And then like the last eight are the actual polishes. Ooh, these are cute. Um, we have another oval sticker here. Oh, all the charms have names. I'm a dork. Okay, uh, the first charms... We're called Celestial Charms Gold, which makes sense because Celestial Charms Silver was the other ones I had. Then we have, is it Coquille Charms Silver? And now we have Kawaii Charms. Let's not do what we did the last one. And you can see this is like a cutesy glitter mix. It's got hearts and stars and moons, like diamonds I think are in there. Yeah, like literal diamond shapes. That's fun. These are super cute. 
And I believe that the nail items here, like these glitters, are the full sizes like that you can buy on the website. So uh, you get mini polishes and I believe full size glitters. Okay, so number four, it's like a little strawberry and we got some like star designs. Um, this is either going to be a nail file or a nail oil. Let's see. It is a file. Okay, so last year we got a nail oil in like a pen, which was nice. The year before that we got the nail file, but like the mini version, and it came in this same kind of colored velvet uh, sleeve. And that one I actually keep as my travel nail file. You can never have too many of these things. I keep them pretty much all over my apartment. And this one will probably reside in my truck permanently because I do need a truck file. Okay, now it looks like we're getting into the actual polishes, judging by the weight. And this is number five. It's got some little shoes on the boxes. No fruits on this box. Let's see. And now I do know one of the polishes in here. I did get spoiled on one, but the rest of them I don't know. And the one I got spoiled on is one I actually have in the full size. So let's see. This is Georgette. It looks like a, like a, kind of just a nude tone, maybe like kind of jelly-ish. Nothing like super exciting, but you know what? This would be easily paired with any of these glitters as like this is the base and then it kind of gives the glitters like a space to shine. So that's nice. But I feel like in every advent calendar I've gotten from Cirque, there's always like one of these type of kind of milkier nude colors. Box number six. And this one looks like kind of like an orange juice type container. I like that. That's cute. Let's see. Ooh, that's pretty. This is Kelly Jelly. I don't have this one. It's one that I did want though. That's pretty. I like that. So that's a plus. You know, it's minis are kind of an annoyance to use, but at the same time, it's like, how do you go through an entire bottle of nail polish on the regular? So I do appreciate minis in my life. This is a nice color. This is a fun Christmassy color. And you know what? The green and the gold look cute. I don't know if you can see because it's a little bit dark on camera. It's it's darker in real life too, but it's got that like poppy kind of Christmas tree green. So I like that. Box number seven. It's got like a little sprout on here. I like the colors of this. That bright green and the purple. Very goosebumps. Ooh, a red. Ooh. Okay, this is called Toadstool. Oh, that's cute. Uh, I could definitely do a fun little Toadstool nail art with that. Looks like it's just kind of a basic cream. Nothing too exciting, but definitely, definitely though, got some Christmassy vibes here. Box number eight. This one's cute. This is literally the sticker we got. Um, and let's crack her open. I like how the number eight is like the price. Ooh, this one's called Snozberry. Well, how very appropriate. Um, this is their kind of like jelly-based flaky. This is a formula or like finish that I really enjoy from Cirque. And it's like a really deep kind of like magenta and those flakes are firing up in all sorts of colors there. Here we have box number nine. I like the little mushroom, that's cute. Let's see what we got. Oh, this is XX. So this is the one that I have. This is the one that I knew was gonna be in here. Actually, I'm not 100% certain if you're supposed to pronounce this XX or 20 because it is like the Roman numeral for the 20 different glitters or so that are in this. So what I'm going to do is I have a little pile of like unused duplicates that I have acquired. It's not very big, but I'm trying to build it up. And then um, once it gets big enough, I'll do like a little giveaway. So that's going to go in my kind of giveaway pile. Number 10, I think this is supposed to be maybe like a watermelon or something like that. Let's see what we got. Ooh, that's pretty. That one's called Night Fever. This is, uh, I think, is this the same uh, finish as like the succulent one they did? This is like a purple base with a really pretty blue shimmer running through it, as well as some like hollow glitters thrown in there. I love this finish from Cirque. This and the uh, jellies with the the flakies running through it are probably my favorite. And then I also, I do love their weird colored jellies. Okay, box number 11, it says, you are my vitamin Cirque. 
and it's got some kind of a citrus fruit on there. I like the little eyes. Citrine. Do I have this one? I don't think I do. This looks like an orangey gold. Yeah, orangey. Is this a hollow? Mm. Yeah, it looks like it's got some holographic running through it. It's definitely very citrusy. I feel like it fits the box well. So that's a nice one there. It reminds me of, um, there's this tea I get from H Mart that it's like, it's basically just like some kind of orangey syrup. I think it's called like yuja in Korean or like yuzu. Um, and it's like a honey citrusy uh, tea. It's really good. And that's kind of what this makes me think of. And we're already on the last box. This reminds me of a box of Lucky Charms. Um, let's see what is inside. Oh, ew, I don't like this. <laughs> it's called Stoneware. Um, mm, it's like a creamy white or maybe even a very light pink. And it's got these orangey metallic flakes running through it. Maybe when I see it swatched, I'll like it better, but I gotta say right now, I'm not obsessed with this color. I think it's the only one where I was like, mm, maybe not. So yeah, here is everything we got in the box. The three glitters, the nail file, and eight mini polishes. We got a pretty good variety of finishes, of colors. Honestly though, from looking at the box art versus what we got in the box, like it's all these really bright poppy colors. And I feel like the only color that I see here that really kind of fits the box is maybe the red. Um, and you know, the, the outside of a box on an advent calendar is not always an indicator of what you're gonna get inside, but sometimes it is. And I kind of was like hoping we'd get more along that color scheme. Every year I keep saying I'm not going to buy this again uh, because you pay a lot for just minis. And then every year, you know what I do? I buy it. Um, I like Cirque's quality. So I just get so sucked in and I like the art. It's always pretty. It always sucks me in too. Uh, but what do you think? Like, is this worth the money to you? Do you guys think, would you pay, what did I say, $80 for this, this stuff? I don't know. I think I would rather get just a bunch of polishes, just get fewer polishes, but full size and ones that I chose from Cirque rather than getting the advent calendar. And this is the first year I've ever gotten a duplicate to one that I have in my collection. So maybe that's a warning that in the future, I might there might be more duplicates because my Cirque collection is growing. So maybe I will skip this next year. I am really excited about Kelly Jelly because that is one I wanted. I like this finish. I like this color, surprisingly. This isn't one I usually geared towards. And obviously I like this one because I bought the full size. So when you see these swatched, I'm going to, you know, pop in my swatches. This one I'm not going to use. I'm going to use my bottle that I have already in order to show you a swatch so that this goes unused and goes in my giveaway pile. But yeah, let me know if you guys picked this up, um, if you were excited about it, if you were disappointed. I just, what? I don't know. I don't know about this one, uh, but we'll see after I'm swatching these in a little bit. So who knows? But yeah, let me know your thoughts down below. I love chatting with you guys and I will see you in the next one. Bye.